Two friends who fought side by side in Vietnam were reunited today for the first time in nearly 50 years. The story of how it happened is really one of perseverance. Fox 4's Melissa Cutler is at the DFW airport with the story. Melissa. And you know, Heather, you know, the day before Thanksgiving is always a huge travel day. Loved ones journey long distances to be together. So what better day than this to find a long lost friend? No, not him. After waiting and searching 49 years for a friend, a few more moments at DFW Airport won't matter to Joe Falzone. I'm sweating. The 69-year-old from Wiley hasn't seen his Vietnam War buddy, Joe Martinez, since 1966. Joe's flying in for Thanksgiving. You just come, become friends. Uh, uh, when you click, uh, you just click. Falzone looked for Martinez for almost half a century, but the war, getting wounded in life, separated the two. And with a common name like Joe Martinez, his friend was impossible to find. I knew he was from California, um, but I didn't know where in California. Over the years, Falzone collected war memorabilia, helmets, boots, and hats. These are the actual grenades that we use in Vietnam. He has a giant mural of the Iwo Jima Memorial on the outside of his barn, and he often opens his scrapbook. Joe's right here, Martinez. And glues favorite pictures to the wall. Joe Martinez, uh, laundry boy, Joe Falzone. All the while never forgetting his dear friend, scouring databases, attending reunions, hiring two private eyes, nothing worked. Until he did some digging on Facebook, he turned up a list of 10 possible matches. The very last one was his friend. Falzone arranged for Joe Martinez to fly to Texas from Phoenix for Thanksgiving. I'm a little nervous. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. After minutes that felt like hours, Joe Falzone finally laid eyes on Joe Martinez, close to 50 years after seeing him for the last time. Ugly? <laughs> how are you, buddy? All right, how are you doing? <laughs> Passengers applauded. Seeing that, it just it really touched me. And I get a little emotional about it myself, and I'm just happy to see that, he, that they're both home and they're able to see each other, and uh, it's, just, it's just special. I never thought I'd see him again. And it was like a God's gift to me here and he called me. <laughs> and the two definitely will be staying in touch. There's a company reunion coming up in September and both say, both vow that they will be in attendance. Live at DFW Airport, Melissa Cutler, Fox 4 News.